Hi guys, welcome back to Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today I have new bookshelves. So today I am just sorting out my books and putting them on the shelves and sorting out these ones and these ones because um, we all need a good start now. So I'll quickly just show you my current setup with the bookshelves and then I'll get on to sorting out the new ones. So I have my bedside table here which I don't know what I'm going to do with yet but that was just where these bookshelves are. Um, and it has just a bunch of stuff in it that I'm going to put at the bottom of that shelf behind me. Um, I might just get rid of this unless I find somewhere to put it. I've also got these shelves which I might move and do something else with a bit of a mess and then I've also got this over here which might move somewhere else but we shall see we shall see my main bookshelves um, both Billy bookcases this is the big one this is the small one just to be honest this is stuff for you if I get in um, so this big one is in rainbow order these top two shelves are stand lines that I have read. Um, and then these la next three shelves are stand lines to be read. As you can see, my TV record is way too many. Way, way, way too many. Um, so that's all in rainbow order. And down here is just a bit of one of the old shelf with some Harry Potter books, my Jovan Hansen book, um, my arcs and chapter samples are behind this pack stack here and just loads of stuff. On the floor here I have my books from the arc, so I haven't sorted out yet. Then this little one are just my series, so I just walk I'm doing whatever order I get it in. So yeah, these books that I'm getting rid of. Um, so that's those shelves. Then I have these shelves which my dad made for me. Um, top two shelves are just DVDs. And I have my Shadowhunter shelves. So I have Dark Artifices, um, two copies of City of Bones, City of Ashes, Bane Chronicles, um, the Codex, and all the short stories. And this is my Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices shelf. So I have Mortal Instruments. Um, the Infernal Devices, Fruit of Bones Special Edition, Mass, Mass Market Paperback, and then the Tales from Shadowhunter Academy. Then I have two Fairy Loot shelves, which I think I'm going to get rid of. I just integrate these books into my normal shelves. Um, as you can see, this just has it in order of months. And with the Joseph Favorite Rockers and some of the stuff that I've got. Here is my Pride and Joy, my Serious Want. Then I have my Harry Potter shelf, which I think. It's going to stay the same. And then just like my YouTuber books, graphic novels, um, manga, stuff like that. It's just going to stay the same. So I'm actually fast about these two books. But what the plan I think I'm going to do is have this as my TBR shelf at the top here. Um, I'll definitely think I'll use the top of the shelves and then the next top three shelves. This little. Um, one of the light and stuff is going to replace my bedside table so it's going to be like a little alcove with my bedside table, my current read, um, my TBR for the month, whatever I'm doing, my laptop can live there, stuff like that and I think I'll do this next shelf which is, currently has my laptop on as my arcs and chapter samples maybe and then under here I just have some books I want to hide away um, just because they don't really have a place on my shelves um, I'm hoping that'll all fit if not, a bit stuffed. And then because I'm getting rid of these fairy shelves, I'm thinking add another Harry Potter shelf because I'm collecting more Harry Potter books. Um, so I'll have some space for them and then have a shelf for like my playbills, Hamilton book, Devon Hunts and stuff. All of that good stuff. So that's that shelf. And over here, I'm thinking of doing my red standalones and my series. So at the top will be the standalones, the bottom will be the series maybe, the other way around, not really sure, but we will 
see how it goes. I will just show you what I have done so far. So obviously I have my bookshelves here and then I've moved these shelves here which just has my PlayStation, my Wii, DVD player, um, on the bottom are my games, all that sort of stuff. Then over here I've just moved the um, little like uh, little thing here, TV stand, whatever it is. Uh, I think I'm going to put my shoes in the bottom. It's probably so nice little display thing. Then I moved this one here. And I put my bedside table just here. So I think I'm going to sort out all of like this stuff first. I'm not going to. Actually, I might film it. I'm just going to sort out this stuff first, and then I will move on to my books because I need to move all of this stuff out of my way. <laughs> Wish me luck. So I thought I'd give you a little update of how everything is doing. So let's just see what's going on here. So I have my record player and my body sprays and stuff. This is just being ignored. Um, my shoes are under here. I've got a plant, my switch, my hedgehog food. It's a little bits and bobs there, my watering can, etc. etc. I thought that looked quite cute. Um, I like the way it looks, so I'm quite happy with that. And then over here, if I can just step through my rubbish, um, I put that plant there, but I don't think it looks very good. I might change it, I might just keep it there, see what happens. Um, having then, I put him up there, because I'm hoping it'll like, go down, but we'll see. If his growth gets stunted, I'll put him back where he was. Um, so this still needs to be sorted out. And then over here... I have these two Harry Potter shelves. I just did the top one. Don't like it that much to be honest, but as I get the rest of the series in the original hardbacks, um, that will fill it out and make it look a little bit better, I hope. Um, I'm just gonna have to keep collecting my Harry Potter books. Um, I want that um, collection and I definitely want the US paperbacks, the new US paperbacks and maybe the old US hardbacks. But that's gonna be a while to get all of those because books are expensive. Um, so there's that. And then on this shelf is my Broadway musical West End shelf. But really it's just a Hamilton and Jeremy Hansen shelf. I have my um, West End brochure, the Hamilton book, the Jeremy Hansen coffee table book, and then this is the Broadway one, Broadway brochure that they were selling at the West End performance. Here I have the Dylan Hansen script book and my playbills of Hamilton, Dylan Hansen, Dylan Hansen, um, Frozen, Waitress. I also have a Mean Girls playbill but it's right on the side of my bed and I haven't been able to get it yet. Um, I don't like the way this shelf looks either but as I collect more musical stuff I guess it will flesh out a bit more. Um, I might have some more Hamilton things I can get on there. Um, have a Hamilton mug but I'm using it at the moment but when that's not in use maybe that could go up here as well uh we shall see but that is all I've done so far um I have books from oh no I've um, down here I put all the books that I don't really want to show um so it's just like um Doctor Who book Sherlock books oh uh, <laughs> J One Direction books uh I've got some Sherlock down there um but I like I have better um, covers, so I'm just keeping them down there. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird, The Hobbit, Book of Nonsense, just two books I got used to read at GCC. It's from the drama, Blue Remember Tales. And then um, we have The Inspector Calls. And then this little book here, which is, which is really good. I do recommend you put this up, but it just doesn't have a place in my shelves, to be honest. So I just keep all of them down here. And that's alright. I've got lots of space as well to put some other bits and bobs I just want to hide out of the way. Oh, and then I also done this. Um, this is the table. So that's my little greenhouse which I need to get more plants for because I moved all of mine over there. Because they were getting too tall, as you can see. Um, just this little box which has some crystals and um, Luna's, my hedgehog's quills in it. And then in here, just has a bunch of hedgehog stuff, so like all of the bedding and tunnels and TP and heat pad and all of that stuff. So that's hidden out of the way because it looked messy before. But yeah, um, now I'm just taking all of my TBR books off of the shelf and putting all of my books that I want on this shelf up here. Um, 
and then I'll be sorting out this shelf with the books I have read and my series. Wish me luck. Standalone TBR books off the shelf and on the floor. So I've kept them all in my border so I can just put them on my shelves mark from there as a baseline and then I have my fairy shelf, my fairy books that I want to go up there and my dark books that I want to go up there plus non-fiction classics. Um, will they all fit on here? We shall see. So I sorted out all of my bookshelves and everything so I just have this little area that I'm sure you don't care about um, but I thought it looked quite cute so I'll show you that. Just there. This you've already seen. And then I have these bookshelves, which are just look like that. So I'll explain the whole system to you. So these are books that I have stamp loans I've read. Um, so got black books, white and cream, then rainbows like so. And I've got some book boxes there. And some little decoration things. And yes, I do colour code my Sims. I like colour coding saying things. Um then these um top few shelves are my series. So this one, this one, this one, and this one are series I have started but have not yet finished. These two are series I have not started yet, and this is um a series I've finished or that I have finished with the books that are out so far. Um, yeah, I like the way it looks. Um, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I've got some gaps so I've got some leeway and stuff to move things about and uh, when I get new books and need to move things and stuff um, which is what, which is quite handy. And you've already seen this shelf here so it has my what instrument shelves and my musical musical shelf um which is very empty my harry potter shelves um and my manga graphic novels youtuber sort of books over there and then i have this little shelf here again which isn't book related so you probably don't care but it's just like a little photos of a plant tv um dvd player it has my book sleeves there as well and then finally I have this one, which is the new shelf, which I think is my favourite shelf. Um, I'm going to work from the top down. So on the top here we have my, so these are all standalones. Um, this is my standalone TBR shelf. I know, I feel so exposed with how many books I have on my TBR, especially since um, there are books here that I haven't read yet that are part of series. I'm feeling very exposed, please don't judge me. Um, so I just have this little plant up here, I'm hoping he will grow downwards. His name's Connor, by the way, in case you were wondering. I'm hoping he'll grow down, it'll just look really nice. Um, so I have got some books behind too, but the ones that don't particularly look very nice, so I don't mind um, hiding them away like so. Um, but I have all of my black books and my white books. I'm very annoyed that not all my white books fit here, but that's fine. We're doing what we do. So I have to put one up there, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, and then we have my Rainbow Begins, and it's just the exact two shelves are my rainbow of TBR books. Um, so I have my purple books, with my little toilet mug, um, some candles, some spice up a little bit. Next we have my blue, blue to orange. It's got green and yellow in there as well, and it has my bookmark tub, just another little candle. And then we have the rest of the rainbow, um, so this is like silvery blue books. So we have Dustin and, Ant Dustin and Eleven, little decorations, candle, my mini Simpsons, which I don't want to behave right now. And then my little light box. And then next shelf is like my... Um, I don't know, like active shelf. Um, I just have this Spiderwick Chronicles book here because I loved Spiderwick as a kid. I never read the books. Maybe I'll read them one day. Um, but I love the film, so I got this book and I just want it there because it's, it's honestly one of my favourite books. It's so cool. I'll just show you it quickly. I did take the dust track off it because I preferred. I preferred it like this. Um, look at my writing. 
yes yeah, so this is just like a guide to the creatures of spiderwick um it's amazing i love it i'm pretty sure i've read it all the way through when i was younger um just like pull out things and just i love it it's super cool um so i just wanted that up on my shelves it has been tucked away previously but i have this and then i have my e-reader uh, my kindle for my eox i got off of net galley this is a little room spray thing here my light obviously um for night time i have this space here for my current read so currently i'm reading these rubber waves by sarah rush i have my little tbr jar here it just has bits of paper with all of my books i still have left to read uh yeah and then i have my tbr for the month or whatever i don't normally do tbrs um i'm giving them a go um these are actually for a specific video that i'm in the works of filming um so we have these stacked up here easy to reach and then i have my chapter samplers and arcs um so we'll see the chapter samplers here then my arcs in location date like so and then i have my like classics here um not all my classics are here but it makes no sense how i decide which classics go here and which ones go on my normal shelves um but yes we just have some classics here um and then some non-fiction so i've got Mealgram, um alan Turing, emily and pankhurst stephen hawking and alexander hamilton um which i do want to read all of these books um but the non-fictions one especially take me a while to read um i need to read them on short bursts um so yeah and then i have this little hogwarts if i pull out the way little hogwarts box which i'm just putting some candles in that i don't want on display as you can see um that's just handy easy to reach if i want them then i have my alexa there hiding in the corner and then down here i've already shown you it does have some books that i don't want on display a little place on my laptop a little notebook and stuff like that so yeah i am actually really pleased with how my bookshelves have turned out in my room in general because i did do a massive clean um for most of my room uh, a lot of it's still a bit of a mess, but that's fine. I can't bother to deal with that. Um, but yeah, if I'm like a proper bookshelf tour, like how I uh, like, you know, when you take out each individual book, which I can't bother to do. Um, but if you really want that, I will do it. Um, but yeah, you kind of get the gist of how I've done it here. And yeah, I'm very tired. I'm going to go rest and read a book now, I think. Or edit this video, maybe. Something like that. I will... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!